Hey everyone, it's Alex Peps 12345 here with the new House of Witches Bratzillas Witchy Princesses dolls, all three, so that's um Carolina Past, um or Carolina, I just like to say Carolina, uh, Angelica Sound, and Sierra Calmer. And this is one of the new lines for fall from Bratzillas. Um and basically it's like these three witchy princesses. Uh, well they changed up the story a few times, but essentially they were trapped uh by the Tula twins' ancestors, and then they were freed by the Bratzillas, and now we're seeing them, and they have really fun, like, tattered, antique, um, really, like, old-time style. Uh, one of the original titles was Forgotten Princesses, so they're supposed to look a little bit worn, and yeah, very cool. And since I've got her box up already, I'll just start with Sierna. Um, her power is, Sierna is no fool, she can keep you calm and cool. And what her friends love about her is that she never loses her temper because Sierra calmer, so she can basically calm any situation. And here is the lovely Sierra calmer uh, doll, her face. I love this line so much. As usual, Bratzelos are just knocking it completely out of the park uh, in terms of like facial design and especially the eyes. Um, these just look so amazing, really edgy. Um, like they could be like artist dolls. They're so cool. So here's Sierra, um, and as you can see her eye makeup is very dark, kind of like gray, turquoise, um, and then they all have these really like thin, very defined uh, shaped eyebrows. Um, some of them kind of lean into the uh, Chola look, but not really with um, Sierra. They just look kind of like they're straight out of a painting, and that was one of the original ideas of the line, so that's cool. And as you can see, there's also little fun swirly designs and little dots and things, which just look absolutely gorgeous. Um, and then her eyes, like, I really love the eyes in this line, because um, instead of being really, like, fantasy over the top, like Bratzlitz usually does, they kind of tried to make them look a little bit more realistic with the detailing. Um, and it just looks really great. Like, love Sierra's eyes. They're gray, and you can see there's lots of little lines and things inside of them which really just look amazing. And then her lips, I love the way they did her lips because they're like, not full on black, but kind of like silvery, but like really dark silver and it's just metallic. And it just looks really cool. I can't think of any other doll that's had um, lip color like this, so very fun to see. And then her earrings um, are these really amazing, like detailed little cameo earrings. Um, and you definitely don't see these too often in Playline dolls, so that's amazing. Um, I remember when Bratz Masquerade came out, Brielle's prototype had um, cameo accessories, and then they took them away, and everyone was upset. So it's really great to see them here, and as you can see, there's a little woman in there. Just, like, really amazing details. And then her hair, um, her main color is kind of like turquoise blue-green. So that's what color her hair is mostly. Um, in the front she has bangs that are big and like curl out like that. Um, and then the rest of her hair is just super long. It goes down a little bit past her knees. And she also has a lot of like um, white streaks in her hair as you can see um, along the hairline. And it's cool. Um, I really liked the uh, darker streaks that the prototype had. But I don't know. I actually like... I don't mind that they're gone. I love the white streaks instead. And something that's a little bit confusing is that in the back there's like these random curled bits and I think um, like because her original hairstyle like on the box she has kind of a curled piece that's like one big curl but for some reason the production doll has um, a few curly strands but you know, it's weird, but you can easily just uh, straighten it out with a flat iron if it bothers you that much. Personally, I don't really mind it because, like, it's really not a lot of hair, so it's not even that noticeable. But, you know, personal tastes. And then um, something that they all have are these really unique birdcage hair accessories with glowing birds um, in them. Uh, and those count as their pets for this line. They have glowing songbirds. Um, and Sierra has the biggest. Hers is actually, since she's a princess, of course, hers is more like a crown because it, like, goes over the whole crown of her head. 
and it's gold. Looks really cool, like a fresh, fun concept. Um, I really love it. It's just it's so like unique and like edgy. So that's really and here is Sierra's outfit. Um, starting from the top on her cape, she has just a fun um, netted black cape, and yes, it is removable via Velcro. Um, and the edges are meant to look really ripped and torn and tattered because, again, that's like the whole look of the line, very like antique, forgotten princess. So that's her cape, very short but very effective. Um, I really love it. And then on her uh, collar of her dress, she has another little cameo, which can't get enough of those. Um, and then over one shoulder is like a few layers of black fabric and black lace. And it just looks really cool, um, very detailed, and she has like a little puffy sleeve. Well, both the sleeves are puffy, but this one is connected to the uh, lace and black piece. Um, and then uh, most of her dress on the front, at least, is this interesting patchwork pattern. Personally, I am not really uh, a fan of this. I think it looks a little cheap. Um, like, I don't know, I just don't really like patchwork fabric, at least not like this. Uh, I like the patchwork that the prototype had, but those were like real patches, so that's a little different. Um, yeah. And then on the side here is this fun netted uh, piece that's, again, very ripped looking, very, very cool. They all look, they, they look so ghostly, I love it. Um, and sadly, this doll, her dress is half print, which is really surprising, because I... Like, immediately, I can't really think of any other Bratz or Bratzola that has had a half print anything. Um, but she does. But what I find is kind of like a simple cure for it is if you just twist it around like this until the back seam becomes the side seam. And then it looks intentional. And it gives it kind of a uh, twisted half and half look. MGA actually uh, styled the dress like this in the commercial. So, you know, it's possible that it was intentionally done like that. I don't really know, but I like to keep it like this. Um, and then on her arms, she has these really long, uh, like they almost go all the way up to her shoulder, black fingerless gloves, which I also really love. They really give her that kind of gothic look. So that's great. And then on her legs, um, she has knee-high socks or stockings um, in this cool lace material, but it's not like, um, normal, like, flowery lace, it's like, big fishnet with little designs on it, which again really adds to the, uh, forgotten princess, antique, tattered look, and then her shoes, all three of them have brand new shoe molds for this line, um, and they're actually probably the, uh, least chunky mold that Bradzalos has ever done, they're like, stiletto heels, um, and very pointy, and Sienna's are, of course, in that turquoise, uh, kind of blue-green color. And they have a big bow in, in the front on her mold. And yeah, I just really love these shoes. Great to see new molds, especially ones that aren't as chunky, because personally I don't really like, um, the super chunky shoes that Brad Silas have had in the past, but these are nice, so hopefully they continue in that direction. And, and next here is Carolina Past, or Carolina, but like I said, I just like to say Carolina. Um, and for power, Carolina gets answers fast. With a gaze, she sees the past. And what her friends love about her is, she takes lessons learned from the past to help you move forward. So her power, she's kind of like the opposite of Yasmina. She can see deep into the past, which is pretty cool. And here she is, and she definitely, without a doubt, has got to be my favorite. I love her face. It's so, like, sharp and almost sinister looking. Just gorgeous. Um, her eye makeup is very elaborate. Um, there's, like, a layer of shimmer that goes over the whole thing that really shines well in the light. But isn't, like, um, over the top, like, colorful or tacky. And then, again, really dark, like, gray, kind of cat eye shaped, but, like, it goes over the whole lid instead of just being her eyeliner. And then her eyebrows, again, very, um, very kind of sinister looking, really pointed, sharp edges. And she just looks, ugh, love her. And then the design, which is only on this eye, um, not both like Sierna. Uh, let's, yeah, 
on her eyebrow there's a little swirly design and three dots and then another um, fun kind of swirly motif on the underneath her eye and her eyes are this like icy sharp blue color very piercing um, and then her lip color is this deep almost black blue and yeah she just like look at that face she's amazing and her earrings are uh, this Bratz earring mold so it's not a new one but it really looks good in this all black normally I hate unpainted earrings they just look like chunks of plastic um, but I think uh, in black it works because it gives it that kind of um, wrought iron effect which again really just adds to the whole um, antique look of the line so that's really nice and then her hair since her color is uh, blue well different shades of blue she has mostly like super light frosty blue but then little streaks and low lights of uh, different shades of blue and also some white mixed into her hair as well and her hairstyle she has uh, pieces in the front wrapped behind her head and then most of it's just down and again um, pretty long goes past her knees the quality is alright I mean it's nylon but it's not the worst but also you know it's nothing amazing um, but it is pretty soft and you know flat iron Pantene and it should be just good to go um, the only real issue is that it's very gelled which makes it feel stiff but you can just wash that out um, and then in the back of her hair she has one piece tied up and then this long twisted section that goes all the way down so pretty cool pretty elaborate and then um, of course they all have their bird cages and Carolina's is much smaller than Sierna's um, and it just kinda sits on her head like a little like a little decorative hat and again it's all black giving it that um, wrought iron look and there's her little birdie and yeah really love her she's definitely gotta be my favorite and here is Carolina's outfit which I love it just looks like very well put together she's like I don't know I just love how she looks like overall just very well designed um, in my opinion and her cape is blue netting like really sharp electric blue nice contrast um, and then on top the color of the cape is this white lace very cool, very old, and um, again, it, you can just take it off with the Velcro. Um, I'm just gonna leave it on because there's not like any motifs on her dress. Um, but then her dress is this really like again old antique, very vintage kind of pattern, uh, very theatrical um, in black with different shades of blue on it in the design. And as you can see, it's very well tailored. Um, lots of little stitching in the front and it just has straps on it um, and then at the bottom it's trimmed with lace to match the cape and then something I love is that um, it almost like since her uh, cape is actually more of a capelet because it's really short um, it kinda continues into this little uh, short train thing on her dress which I think kinda acts as a second cape um, and there's many layers to this uh, the top is this really cool ripped looking black and blue layers of fabric kind of like Yasmina's um, first wave uh, cape and as you can see the ends are again meant to look very torn and torn and worn yeah um, and then under that is actually a layer of netting that matches her uh, capelet in that electric blue color and I love that they did this because it wasn't like a necessary detail like it's not something you can see but just the fact that they went that extra mile is really nice like she just looks so collector so love that and then she also has kinda like gloves but they don't wrap around her hand like Sierra's do um, and they're in this metallic shimmery blue material so that's cool and then her shoes again they have um, the new stiletto molds and hers are in that electric blue color um, essentially the same as Sierra's, but there's no bow, and instead it kind of has this uh, ribbed strap. And uh, Carolina actually has an extra accessory, these really awesome opera glasses. I think um, since she sees into the past, these are kind of like her equivalent of Yasmina's monocle that makes her see into the future. Um, and they're in silver, and the front, and then the back where she can look through. 
um, very cool. She kind of reminds me of, um, there's like an extra or some woman in the Miley Cyrus Can't Be Tamed music video who actually had a birdcage hat just like this and opera glasses. So she kind of reminds me of that video, which I love. Love Miley and love Carolina. So she's just amazing. And then last but not least is Angelica Sound. And for power, when it's loud and noisy all around, Angelica uses her power to control sound. And what her friends love about her is that she speaks her mind. So basically, yeah, she controls sound. And that's a pretty cool power to have. So here's Angelica, and she's definitely the most kind of uh, kooky looking of the three. Mostly because of her eyebrows. Hers are the ones that really go into that kind of chola territory with just um, a sharp curve. But I mean, it's fun. You know, they went there really uh, trying new things, so you really have to give them credit. And she actually, like, she looks cool. She's just a little funny looking compared to the others, not as serious. Um, and her eye makeup is very pink, like, again, um, not as serious because she's really colorful. Um, so, like, hot pink, and my camera's really washing out the color here, but it's, like, really hot pink, and then, um, kind of a deep, uh, reddish color, um, on her, like, lid that, again, swoops into that kind of wing, um, and, uh, just like, um, Carolina, she only has a design on one of her eyes, but it's the other eye this time, and, yeah, really fun swirly design and then also on top of her eyebrow um, and her lips are a really like deep um, they're kind of like Sienna's lips only red colored with them um, in terms of how it's like metallic like this very shimmery and I also like that she kind of has lip liner um, she kind of reminds me of um, like some of the older brats like Tokyo Gogo -Go, Tiana who came with the dance and skate club she had this exact lip color and lip liner so Fun little throwback, not sure if um, that's how they meant it, but that's how I'm seeing it. And then her earrings, again, are um, an old Bratz mold. And again, they're in all black, which gives them that really funky wrought iron look. Very antique. I like that she's, like, playful looking, but still, you know, she has that old, old world vibe. Um, and then her hair, definitely the best out of the three. She has that amazing, silky... I don't even know what it is. It's the same hair that um, Back to Magic, Megana had, and um, My Passion Jade, as well as Costume Bash, Yasmin, and Chloe. They all have this amazing, silky texture hair. Honestly, I think I like it better than Saran. Like, it's, mm, it's just really nice and bouncy, and I love how um, curly her hair is. And some people, you know, you can brush it out and make it smaller, but I want it to have that big, messy look, since she's supposed to be old and tattered um, and then her hairstyle I really like that they uh, got a little creative here instead of just doing a tiara like a regular princess would have they actually gave her three twists which kind of resemble a like tiara of hair which I think is really cool and like creative and her hair is in all pink with some white highlights as you can kind of see and then her birdcage is essentially the same as Carolina's but it's um, on the other side now so it's fun so they basically have um three different bird cage headband hat hair accessories um, and there's her little glowing bird so that's it and here is Angelica's outfit hers is definitely giving me the most like um really antique vibes of them all because of this pattern it kind of reminds me of like an old couch or something um, and the material's very thick, too, so it's really, like, it feels really nice quality, and it's definitely, without a doubt, the most detailed of them all. Um, the print is full, um, on the top end. It has a little, like, white, not lace, but, like, I don't really know what you call it. It's kind of like, like a doily or something. I don't really know, but it's, like, little designed netting material that trims the top, and then, um, also has these two long strips that kind of fall down. Um, again, adding to the tattered look. And I like the way they did the sleeves on these. One is much lower than the other. Um, really adds to the old look. And then her cape is yellow. And I don't really like this cape because it's not hemmed and the material isn't the best. So just a heads up, if you're going to be playing with this, this will probably fray very easily. 
Um, but if you just leave it on or like you're going to display her or something, then yeah, it really adds to the look, but I um, wouldn't recommend it for heavy play or anything. Um, but then the collar on the cape is shimmery, just showing that off. So back to the dress, uh, yeah, really like antique pattern, um, again with the kind of ripped up edges, adding to the uh, old look. And then the design of like the skirt part of the dress was like so detailed in how it was sewn, the way it's meant to look kind of like destroyed, um, just like really cool, lots of layers. And then underneath the top layer of the uh, thick pattern fabric that kind of goes around and then ends here. Um, there's tons of layers of netting, like a bunch of layers, and they're all cut differently to look really ripped up. And they're in like shades of silver and gray and black. And it's just really cool, very like, this dress could honestly be like collector. Like they just look so collector. Um, and then she has stockings as well that go up to her thighs. And they have the patchwork print that Sierra's dress had, but in pink. And I actually think it works really nicely on the stockings. Um, it just like, I don't know, maybe it's the color or something. But yeah, I definitely love the way this looks here. Uh, definitely better than how it does on Sierra's dress. And her shoes are the same old as Carolina, but in black with the uh, ribbed strap um, stiletto heels. Very nice. So, those are the new Bratzilla's Witchy Princesses dolls. Most definitely recommend them. It's definitely some of the best Bratzilla's yet. Like, just very, very edgy, very fun, very, like, spooky looking. Love it. Um, and I didn't mention this because it's not really an accessory, but each one, of course, comes with a Bratzilla's signature broomstick brush to brush their hair. Um, but yeah, so definitely recommend them. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks.